While we were in San Diego, we got the opportunity to film another boat tour for you guys. We're really excited about this one because it's going to be a pretty unique boat. And quickly, I just want to remind you guys, if you enjoy our videos, please hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps us a lot. Thank you in advance. And without further ado, let's get to the tour. So this tour is going to be a lot different than our typical boat tours. If you look at this vessel, you'll notice it doesn't have any sails. <laughs> it looks a lot like a commercial fishing vessel. I wonder why. Uh, but it has been upgraded to do a lot of different things other than fishing now. It's been brought out of the fisheries program, so it can no longer be a fishing vessel, but it can be a personal vessel, a research vessel, or do things like eco tours. So we're gonna go ahead and show you around. Um, first off, they added on a giant swim platform. Randy for scale. Everything on this boat is quite large, so. I'm gonna go ahead and step aboard. All right, let's go, Ray. All right, so heading onto the ship. So obviously you have this huge aft deck here. So what was the like working deck on the fishing boat is now more of a usable space. There is a crane that they put in which you can use for your dinghy or for different projects that you might be involved in with this ship. Tons of things. So this thing can go all the way from back on the stern, you can lift your dinghy up and you can even put it all the way up there on that top deck. So this thing extends out a ton. So we've got an aft compartment back here. So this is a nice big storage compartment. It goes way down back in there. So later we'll go inside the cabins and you'll see above the berths there are some hatches that would lead to this. Okay. Well, we just have tons of space for activities. You can grill out here, live out here. <laughs> if this is your boat, you can always put a cover over this. Obviously there's no cover right now, but there's lots of potential for that. That is going to be the main saloon, the main living area. We're going to go up to the bridge deck because we typically do like the outside, outside first, that kind of thing, even though we are kind of going inside. So we are now up here near the bridge deck. We're going to go around the front first. Then we'll go in. So most recently this was used as a research vessel. Would you still call this a windlass? <laughs> <laughs> it's a big, big anchor winch, windlass. We've got our bow right here. We're about 20 feet up. And I've got the baby on my chest, so I'm a little worried. <laughs> but she's okay. Nice view from out here. Yes, it is actually a beautiful view. There's your bridge deck. I like the angled windows to protect from the sun, like causing a heat box in here basically. Yeah, so like the angled forward windows provide better vision at night, typically, as well as you don't get that greenhouse effect as much when the sun's beating straight down, so. All right, so now we'll go inside the pilot house. This is just gonna be- oh, Extra storage, there are large storage. Tons of storage, this whole, this whole thing. You can access it from either side. Those lines are so thick. All right, so the entry into the pilot house is right here. And here we are. Would you look at that, guys? So everything's been redone and refinished. So we've got beautiful wood everywhere. We've got this seat right here. Nice, comfortable spot to pilot the boat from. We've got all our electronics, throttle. And then look at that view. Can't complain about that. Would you be comfortable in this pilot house? Yes. In inclement weather? Yes. Yeah. And you can just stay up here if it's uh, really bad. 
just... Yeah, longer passages. You know, you can have someone sleeping and then someone at the helm. Got little storage areas and places for electronics. This is awesome. I can see why someone would like the convenience, the protection of a trawler. And then back here, this was going to be another head, but it never really got finished. You can see the exhaust from the furnace right there, the heater. So we're going to head out of the pilot house and up above the pilot house to like the top deck. So a little sketchy getting up here with the baby, but you know, gotta be really careful. But this is the top deck. You can see there is the exhaust for the fireplace. There's a life raft right there, big commercial life raft. An even more crazy view. Can't complain about that. Turn it aft. So we've got this huge heavy duty arch that, you know, it's just holding instruments right now, antennas. It was for outriggers when it was originally a fishing vessel, but now it's not necessary if someone wanted to take it down. Yeah, so you can either take it down or build something off of it. It's got potential. We're gonna head down now. So you can go up from there and go up from there, up to that pilot house. And we're gonna go in the main saloon. So entering here, got a little bit of art right here. This is copper it looks like. A little bit of weathered copper, it really looks cool. Down below, granite floor with a little inlay right there. And then looking forward, this is just absolutely elegant. I'm gonna go in the middle and do a 360, and I'm gonna shut up because I think it speaks for itself. All right, this is absolutely beautiful in here. Yeah. Randy, what do you think about it? I thought it was so unexpected when we walked in here, just how much they went into making this a like, beautiful living space. I just wanna say, because I have to make one comment about the interior of this boat, as well as the exterior, I just love the contrast between the two. The contrast between the really elegant, luxurious interior and the commercial looking exterior. I think it's just a really cool combination. My understanding was the previous owner wanted to do eco tours up in Alaska. So they wanted something that could withstand the weather, but also be comfortable for guests on board. And I think this would be a really cool use for this vessel. So this is the galley. We've got a full size fridge, range. It looks like a household range, a microwave, a lot of storage space. I think this is a trash compactor. Looks like it. Yeah, it's gonna be a trash compactor. I used to have one of those when I grew up. This kitchen might have more cabinet space than our current kitchen at home. <laughs> Comparable. Um, I'm interested in the uh, headliner. It's like velvet. Yeah. <laughs> Going forward from the galley, you have the eating area. So you've got like a nice lounge chair there and then some additional seats. You've got some nice woodwork moving forward um, to what looks like a bookshelf with, a, I feel like this could be a berth above it. It says first officer. Yeah. This looks like a little library area yeah. and you have like a little bar area right here. DC and AC panels. Additional Oh, it's actually a big hanging locker with some access, to, uh, looks like plumbing behind it. And then some more storage. Here is a hatch, emergency escape. Warning, no illegal drugs. <laughs> and then this is our, this is the main head, really. Just lined with granite. Beautiful. Got those big circular bronze pour lights. Add a 
has a separate Is shaft. this a wooden sink? A wooden epoxy. Looks like it's wooden. So I was going to say, that's the second wooden sink we see <laughs> after Titania. And then there's a big separate shower right there. I like the copper tubing for a uh, curtain rod. Yeah, I just, I love the style of this boat. Yeah. It's elegant and yet rustic. Yeah. Like a lot of natural materials like wood and granite. It looks like we've got shades for all these windows oh, too nice. that can pull down, which is really nice. Moving aft, we have another seating area. It's like a full size couch. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's definitely bigger than our couch at home. <laughs> so this actually has a whole binder of pictures of what the boat used to look like when it was a functioning fishing vessel. That's cool. To like just show you kind of the history and the change that went into this. So in this area, these big windows that we have, they were just port lights, but they wanted to bring some natural light in here. Just little things like that. It's cool to see the history of it. Yeah. And then right here, this is the fireplace, the burning stove, so you can go up in high latitudes and be nice and toasty. Alright, you want to take us down below? Yes, so if you continue all the way aft in this main salon area, you have a staircase below. So I'm going to take over <laughs> from here. All right, so into the engine room. I don't think I had ever walked along an engine room this large prior to this. We have a fuel cleaning station, and the previous owner took a lot of time to make sure he left you a manual. Um, if you use too much fuel on one side and you're listing one way, exactly which way to turn all the valves to make it not do that any longer. And I'm not going to pretend to know what everything is, but I'll let you guys view it all and just see how much there is. So all the way in the forward portion of the engine compartment, these are battery boxes. So you've got a large house bank. You can just get a sense of the massive nature of this. I'm ducking occasionally, but I basically just walked through this area. And I'm almost 5'7". I've seen engine rooms on bigger yachts more cramped than this. So this is an awesome engine room. 5 foot 7 inches. I don't know what the centimeters for that is. But I can stand right here. But obviously there's some things that I have to duck under. Let's go aft. So there's the engine room and we're going to go aft now. <laughs> Alright, so it's a little dark down here. But we're going to step into the first cabin. <laughs> Speaking, and it's it looks nice down here it's not as finished no yes it's definitely not as finished down here it's not as finished as above but it still is livable so and they were designing this to be like a island berth which with an attached head and this is a full head it has a separate standing shower so as we said it's a little bit darker down here i try to get all the lights on but i i don't think they all work on just battery but it's still pretty nice. Everything is, looks like to be tiled down here. It looks to be maybe marble. Or travertine. Or travertine. Still very elegant. That's like a normal household toilet right there. Yeah. going across. This is another island berth. This one actually has storage below, which I thought was a nice touch. It's a nice little cabin right here. And again, another full head attached. It actually has some hangings, a hanging rod for like your towels and things, as well as a full standing shower, which I will get out of the way for. Just lots of accommodation for lots of people on this boat. And pretty good accommodation at that. Continuing farther aft, this was originally where all of the fish that were caught were.
were deposited below, but they have made um, it into two different births. One cabin, two births. Yeah, this is a big cabin. The headroom's a little less back here. I can still stand. Randy can still stand. I hit my head. And then I believe right there is where that, yeah, there's that storage compartment you have access to from right there in the back of the boat on both sides. And then up on deck, I showed you a hatch. That would be this one. There's another one near image to that that goes through to the deck. Yeah, right up there. In case of emergency. Cool. All right, so as usual, guys, I'm going to do the continuous below decks walkthrough. It's going to be a little bit different because this boat is definitely set up differently than most of the boats we tour. But let's go ahead and do it. So starting up here in the main saloon, we've got our little bar area. Looking aft, there's our main saloon. We've got our main eating area, our galley, starboard there. To port, we've got our main settee, massive main settee. Our fireplace. Going aft. Here's our galley. Beautiful, beautiful galley. Huge and workable. Turn it around. We're going to go down below now. There's our engine room to forward. Turn it aft. starboard we have one big cabin separate head separate shower going across to port got another cabin Another head with a separate shower. And finally, big old aft cabin. Two big queen size berths. storage in the far aft section and there's your other berth that's it guys so obviously this was quite a bit different than our past boat tours but what did you think of this vessel overall i thought it was awesome <laughs> yeah yeah definitely has a lot of character a lot of forethought in what they wanted to do making this more of like an eco tour kind of vessel it's pretty I, we keep saying unique or different, but I mean, it really is. It's yeah. not typical. I think I said it in the video, but I just want to reiterate it. I really, really loved the contrast between the industrial fishing aspect of the exterior of the boat and then, you know, kind of the elegant interior of the boat. We really liked it a lot. Yeah, looking at the outside, it's just not something that you expect walking into the boat. So it's very just... Yeah, that contrast is awesome. Yeah, and then obviously livability and ease of navigability of this boat. You know, it's got the pilot house that you can see everything from up there and you're completely protected in inclement weather. Below that, you've got a huge amount of living area and a huge amount of accommodation, a huge aft deck. <laughs> I mean... It's a massive ship. Yeah. Absolutely. The one thing I would say is that obviously this still needs work. They didn't get to finish everything that they were trying to accomplish. So it's a project like a lot of the boats that we tour or really every boat is a project. Yeah. So just know that you're taking something on that you would have to put some more work into. Yeah. And obviously, you know, this boat is set up for diesel. It's got diesel engines. It's got a diesel generator. It's got that huge engine room down below. But you guys know how I think. I think this would be an awesome vessel to set up as a diesel electric hybrid, you know, and you could put tons of solar on it. So yeah, I mean, it's just a really cool boat. 
there is a lot of opportunity for solar. That engine room is huge, as you've already said. So, I mean, there's a lot you could probably do in there to yeah. make it work for electric. Yeah, I mean, this boat is a massive platform for an off-the-grid lifestyle on the water. As with all our videos, the contact information for the broker of this boat is going to be in the description below if you want more information or if you want to potentially purchase this vessel. As always guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and a comment down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to follow along with our journey and hit the bell if you want to know each and every time we upload a video. See you guys. Bye. I've got it right and I got it wrong, but I learned my lesson.